Hi, today we're going to talk about the AB blocks and I'm Dr. Ithshan. Um, the three types of the blocks, you know, that's the first degree hard block, the second degree hard block, or the third degree hard block, which is also called the complete hard block. The second is further divided into morbid step one. That's also the winky back phenomena we see in this block and the morbid step two. Let's discuss the first degree hard block. So in the first degree hard block, there is a constant prolongation of the PR interval. What do I mean by that? You know that the PR interval that is three to five small squares. So if you're going to see over there, okay, this PR interval is almost around seven to eight small squares. Okay, and it's everywhere the same. So there's a constant prolongation of the PR interval. Um, that is in the first degree hard block. Actually, it's not a block, but a delay. Uh, in the AV conduction. So the causes are the increased vagal tune um, yeah, in the athletes, inferior wall MI, hyperkalemia, myocarditis, and the drugs, particularly the rich limiting drugs um, like the beta blockers, the calcium channel blocker, digoxin. Now let's look um, on the second degree heart block and we're going to discuss the morbid type 1. So what's there? I, I want you to remember that what I'm going to tell you now now so in the second degree heart block type 1 or the morbid type 1 also it's um, the winky bank phenomena there is a progressive prolongation of the PR interval that's the first thing followed by a drop in QRS that's the second thing which is followed by again the shortening of the PR interval so there are the three things the PR interval, if you look over here, it's progressively, it prolongs, okay? Here, okay, it's prolonging, it's prolonging, it's further prolonging, okay? And here, there's a drop in the QRS. And if you see here or next, okay, now this PR interval has again shortened, okay? As compared to this one. So after the QRS is again shortened. So I'm going to repeat that one. There's a progressive prolongation of the PR interval, followed by a drop in QRS, followed by again shortening of the PR interval, and this keeps on repeating and repeating. This is Mopit's type one. Uh, this phenomena is called wink winky back phenomena. Okay. Um, it is actually this Mopit type one is due to the reversible. Uh, conduction block at the lev level of the AV node. Uh, malfunction in the AV cells, uh, they tend to um, actually fatigue until they fail to conduct. So the AV cells actually, they are fatigued, okay, and ending up uh, like they are fatigued and there is a pro progressive prolongation until, okay, they fail to conduct and there is absent QRS. And now the causes are just like the first degree heart block. There are the drugs, the wiggle tune, inferior wall MI, and myocarditis. The patients are symptomatic and they do not require a treatment. And permanent pacemaking is rarely required in first degree heart block or the second degree type one. Now the next is this uh, second degree type two are also called the morbid type two. So what is there in Mobit Stat 2? There is all of a sudden drop in the QRS. Okay. There is no progressive prolongation of the PR interval as it's in Mobit Stat 1. Here everything is fine. Just a Q is not conducted. So the exact sentence which I'm going to tell you that's going to define this is there is all of a sudden drop in QRS complex. So here you see that the PR is fine, the PR interval, that's normal. The PR is normal, the PR is normal, but here the QRS is missed. The P is conducted, but the QRS is not here, okay? And the P is the same. Actually, it is due to the failure at the level of uh, his, below the AV node. Um, you can say, in other words, there's an intermittent non-conducted P wave of without the progressive PR elongation. There's all of a sudden, all of a sudden drop in QRS. 
Uh, actually, the morbid type 1, it is due to the functional suppression, okay? Type 2 is more likely due to structural damage to the AV node, uh, to the bundle of his, uh, because of infarction, fibrosis, or the necrosis. And it's more likely being associated with hemodynamic instability and go to the third degree heart block. And you need um, the atropine or the perma permanent pacing, uh, pacing uh, for the symptomatic um, morbid strap 2. So um, the next is the third degree heart block or the complete heart block. What's the complete heart block? There is no relation with the atria and the ventricles, okay? None of the supraventricular impulse is conducted to the ventricle. So atria are beating at their own rate and the ventricles are beating at their own rate. Here you can see the, um, the ventricles, they are beating at the rate of around 36 to 38, okay? and these uh, atrials are beating at the rate of around 90. Actually, what happens is that over here, there's a complete block, okay? So atrials are driven by the SC node, okay? But no, none of the impulses is passing through the AV node down. So any, um, the ventricles are, have uh, the pacemaker ability as well, okay? So they are beating at their own rate. Um, a risk of the standstill or sudden cardiac death is there, okay. Um, rhythm, the ventricular rhythm, okay, as I said that none of the impulses from uh, this SC node is uh, passing down because there's a block, um, there's an AV block, okay, complete block over here. So rhythm, actually this ventricular rhythm, this is maintained by the junctional or ventricular escape rhythm. Uh, causes are, there's a drug, uh, inferior wall MI, um that's about the complete heart block so atrias are beating at their own and the ventricles are beating at their own and there is no relation if you see um this ecg there is no relation between the p and the qrs no relation between the p and the qrs okay there is no relation the atrias are beating at their own and the ventricles are beating at their own now let's talk about a little complex thing that is uh, called the fixed ratio AV block. That is two ratio one, three ratio one, or four ratio one. Um, actually, this fixed ratio AV block, okay, um, this can result of either morbid strap one or morbid strap two, but it's difficult to determine that whether it falls in um, morbid strap one or the morbid strap two. Uh, but like there are the certain points which we can actually look at and we can guess that whether it's of the morbid strap one or two, like in the morbid strap one, the QRS is narrow um, as it is uh, the block is located at the level of the AV node. Okay, and it tends to improve with the atropine and has good prognosis. In uh, morbid strap two, so complexes are broad and it worsens with the atropine and it progresses to the third degree um, block. Um, the only way, certain way, um, by which we can actually determine is uh, to monitor and uh, look at uh, the ECG. We can look at the monitor, uh, what happens to the PR interval. Often this 2 ratio 1 and 3 ratio 1 um, will be become intermittently changed uh, with more characteristic Wenke back sequence. Um, are the runs of the morbid stripe 2. So we're going to get to now that it, whether it belongs to the morbid stripe 1 or morbid stripe 2 by those um, in between um, in the, on the monitor. Okay, if we see that there are um, the in between the sequences of a wink, winky back phenomena are coming um, are the runs of uh, the morbid stripe 2 are coming, we can guess that whether it belongs to uh, morbid stripe 1 or 2, that you have to look at the PR interval con continuously on the monitor. This is the fixed ratio uh, block you can see over here, 2 ratio 1, okay, here for every um, QRS, there are two P's, one P's over here, one P's over here, and the QRS. So that's two ratio one, that is a fixed block uh, that I, I was talking about. Here again, we can see that it's morbid step one. Okay, there is a constant prolongation of PR interval followed by a drop in QRS. This is morbid step two, the PR interval is constant. Okay, it's not prolonged, all of a sudden drop in QRS. 
But if you look at the fixed block over here, okay, there are the two P's for every QRS, okay? There could be the three one for every QRS that will be the three ratio one block, okay? So this could be actually be Mobit strap two or Mobit strap one, okay? It's difficult to determine by based on what I have already told the QRS, whether it's narrow or broad, okay? And you have to look at the monitor to um, actually uh, trace the PR interval. So if it's turned into in between the mobile stripe one or mobile stripe two, so you're gonna determine that this um, fixed block is because of either mobile 